This is not just fit me by Maybelline. This is fit me. You heard by Maybelline. This is what this is. Welcome to today's video. It's your girl Lax Mina and back with a new video. As you have seen on the title today, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look using exclusively drugstore products. So if you guys are interested in watching this video, then stay tuned. Oh, before we begin, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lax Me. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button because you are already part of the family just by clicking on this video. So go ahead and subscribe because why not? Why not? Why not? Okay. Also, don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you can get notified whenever I make new videos. And let me stop talking shit and let's just go back into this video. All right, so as you guys can see, I'm gonna start off with a clean face. All I have on is my brows. Um, I just got back from the gym and I literally showered, did my brows, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup. I did moisturize, however. I did moisturize, so I'm gonna move on with the second step, which is my primer. And this is a new primer that I've just recently started trying um, like two months ago or so, and it's the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, and wow. I honestly love, love, love this primer. This is supposed to be sort of like a dupe for the Tatcha, um, I don't remember what it's called, but it's the Tatcha Primer, and it's also like this. You have to sort of like scrape it with your nail. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread that on the tip of my fingers and I'm gonna go ahead and apply on my face. What I really like about this primer is that it does exactly what it says it's gonna do. What made me honestly buy this primer the first time was when I saw the review on it from Jeffree Star. And you know, if you know anything about Jeffree Star, you know Jeffree Star keeps it a buck 50, okay? You know he keeps it a buck 50. And if he said that he loved this primer, your girl had to try it. So I did try it and I ended up loving it. This is what my skin looks like after applying it. It has this very subtle sticky feeling to it, which is good because I guess it helps your makeup grip better. Right, right, we want our makeup to stay on our face. I'm gonna move on to concealer, and one of my all-time favorite concealers, honestly, um, is gonna be this one right here. This is very known by everybody in the beauty industry. So if you guys did not know about this concealer, I'm gonna introduce it to you guys now. This is the Ellie Girl Pro Conceal Concealer, and this is what it looks like. I use the shade, what shade is this? Pure Beige. Yes, I use the shade Pure Beige and I just use this one just to sort of cover up some dark spots that I might have around my face, um, especially now because my monthly visitor is upon us <laughs> and I am showing blemishes and stuff like that. So I use this just to conceal. And then there's another one that I like, which is after the Tarte Shape Tape, my favorite one, and is the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camel Concealer and the best like the best. This is the cheapest, the bestest, like, but we'll get into this one in a minute. Let's go ahead and use this one. And I just put it in areas where I have like dark spots or like shadows or discoloration. So around my nose is definitely an area. Under my eyes is definitely an area. And this is what it looks like. You kind of have to squeeze it. I'm gonna put some here because I have some like blemishes on my forehead and in my chin area. And I just apply this all over the place. Like I'm not precise because I'm gonna put foundation over this anyway. So I just put it on the spots where I feel like I wanna conceal a little bit more because that's, the, oh my God, I look a hot mess. Um, in the spots where I wanna conceal a little bit more because it is a concealer. Another thing, I normally like to do my brows off of camera just because I just, I don't know, like I feel like nobody really wants to be seeing me do my brows. But if you guys are interested in finding out how I do my brows, let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely do a dedicated video on how I do my eyebrows. Um, I did get my eyebrows microbladed or ombre. 
um, but I do still fill them in on different spots and sort of like shape them the way that I want it, like, you know, the way that I want them to be shaped. It's been a year since I got my eyebrows um, microbladed, so, you know, they've been overdue for a touch up and I haven't been able to go, especially now because I have an appointment to go in June, but with this whole coronavirus situation, the place is closed, so I don't know if I'm gonna even be able to make it to that appointment, but it's not even a concern because there are bigger things in the world going on right now than me not being able to get my appointment in. All right, so I just blend that in all over my face. And if I'm looking down, you guys, I'm just looking at the mirror just so I can see what I'm doing because I can't see perfectly on the viewfinder on my screen. So yeah, so that helps me even out a little bit like the complexion of my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to foundation and it's gonna be this one right here. Um, if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you guys have seen me talk about this foundation so many times. This is my all time favorite drugstore foundation. This is the Maybelline 24 hour super stay full coverage foundation. And this one has a matte finish. Again, it's full coverage and it is amazing. It stays on all day. It, it's really good for oily girls. Honestly, me, I get very oily in my T-zone, my nose, especially like my foundation starts to crack around that area, but that doesn't seem to happen with this foundation. It's I think 11 bucks or 12 bucks. I normally buy it at Target, but they sell it at Walmart. They sell it at any drugstore. And it's amazing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just pump. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do three pumps on my mirror, and I'm gonna grab my flat It Cosmetics uh, foundation brush. Like always, I like to spread it all over the mirror just to get it evenly distributed on my brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint my face with it. Wow, that matched me perfectly. Normally three pumps is like the perfect amount of coverage for me. So if I do three pumps, I normally don't have to go in again and pick up more because I don't know if it's just a com that, like the combination of the foundation and then this brush that distributes the foundation so well throughout the skin, but three pumps is more than enough. This one is also very buildable. So if you did want to go in with a second layer, you can definitely do that and like build up your coverage, which so I'm gonna be honest, unless you have really, really dark spots, you don't need to do that. Just because this foundation is super, super coverage with one layer as it is. I'm gonna go ahead and pat a little bit on my forehead because I have some blemishes coming in. And I just wanna, you know, buff that out a little bit. After I'm done painting my face with the brush and the foundation, I like to go in with my beauty sponge. This one, again, if you have been on my channel for a while, you have seen me rave about this this um, sponge. This one is the one from e.l.f. Cosmetics. This one, if I'm not mistaken, is only $5 and is the most amazing sponge of all time. I have put all my female friends, all of my sisters, anybody I know onto this sponge and they freaking love it. As if you buy the Beauty Blender, you will pay 20 bucks. So this one will save you a whole $15. Thank me later. This one, they sell it at any drugstore. Honestly, you can go to any drugstore, CVS, Walgreens, Price Right or Rite Aid, whatever the heck it's called, that one, Target, Walmart, they sell them in every single one. And one really, really lasts a long time. This is the only beauty blender that I've ever purchased in my life. It's almost destroyed. I have had this one for about two years and I wash it constantly. So I think that's why, you know, I've been able to keep it up for two years because normally most people don't keep their sponge for that long, but Still, I've had this one for around the same amount of time and this one is intact. And it's so fluffy, it gets huge in size. I love this big butt part that it has. So I can hold it like this and just pounce, you know, the sponge on my skin and just, you know, make sure, like it makes sure that my makeup just blends in together and my foundation blends in seamlessly. Look at the coverage that that foundation just gave me, you guys. Like, and look how well it matched my skin, like, that's crazy. I like to bring my foundation down to my neck because we don't need no caretas up in here. You know what I'm saying? Like, hello. Cover your tracks, boo. Cover your tracks. I like to bring it up to my hairline a little bit just because it's a little bit lighter on my hairline. So if I don't bring it all the way up to where my, you know, my baby hairs are, 
you can see the difference. You can see where I have my foundation, where it starts and then where it ends and it does not look cute. Oh my God, I love this freaking foundation. I haven't used it in a long time, honestly. I've been using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation Tinted Moisturizer with SPF and I love it and I forgot how much I love this damn foundation because I haven't been using it this whole time. I've been just been using the other one because I'm trying to incorporate more SPF on my skincare, like my skin, my routine. And I feel like nothing better than a freaking foundation that has SPF, you know what I mean? And that one has it, so. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the under eye and this is where I'm gonna be bringing this guy in, which is honestly my favorite, favorite, Drugstore, whoop, my favorite drugstore concealer. And again, this is the Elf Cosmetics 16 Hour Camel Concealer. This is a matte finish. It is super full coverage. It lasts forever. I, on it, I don't think I've ever worn it for 16 hours, but normally when I do my makeup for work, I would do my makeup around seven in the morning. And when I come home and I take it off, it's like eight o'clock at night. So I've worn it for over 12 hours and it honestly looks amazing on the skin. I will have to say though, at the end of the day, you have to set your creams just because, you know, it's cream and it, at some point it will crease depending on your skin texture. Unless you're not, you know, super oily, then it might not. But then again, if you're dry, you know, maybe just just, just set it, just, just set it. Just do yourself a favor and set your, your, your creams. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put some right under my eye. I gotta buy a new one, this one's almost out. And the good thing about this concealer is that it's only, what is it, eight bucks, seven bucks? I don't even know. I'm not gonna put that much on my forehead just because I have blemishes there and I don't wanna accentuate them. And if I do add this uh, concealer, it will accentuate my blemishes. I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and I'm gonna blend that in. Here, I only did a little bit as well because I also have a blemish on my chin and I don't wanna bring that sucker up because you're not important, you're a non-factor, so I'm not gonna accentuate you because you're not even there, you don't exist, you don't matter. I don't know who invented putting concealer under your eye like that, but he or she is a genius because look how that just brightens up your whole face automatically. And go ahead and take your time blending because the last thing you want to do is just rush your blending process and then everything be like just too noticeable and like ugly like listen we don't got time for that we don't got time for that beautiful you know what is crazy it is Almost seven o'clock at night. I'm not even going anywhere and I'm out here just beating my face to the gods. Like, yeah. So for setting powder, I'm gonna go ahead and set all over my face and then I'm gonna set under my eyes. For under my eyes, I'm gonna use this one right here. This is a Revolution, Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the shade Banana. I know this is not technically a drugstore brand or drugstore products but it's super inexpensive if i'm not mistaken this was six dollars and i bought it at ulta and it's so good it a little bit goes a long way i've literally had this powder for i think over over a year and a half and it's still like almost full which is crazy and then for the rest of my face i'm gonna go in with this powder right here that has honestly become my favorite i have not been able to find a high-end makeup that is better than this and i know that you're gonna be like what the, what are you talking about like that's just like fit me by maybelline uh, no no this is not just fit me by maybelline this is fit me you heard by maybelline this is what this is okay okay so i am in the shade 25 medium and this one is just a loose finishing powder but i like to use it all over my face well that's what it's for i guess um this is what it looks like when you open it. I like to pour it on the lid. I pour whatever I'm gonna use on the lid and then go in with a jumbo brush like this. 
a big powder brush like this and basically do it all over my face. But prior to doing that, I'm gonna go in with the banana powder and I'm gonna set under my eyes. I'm gonna, ooh, that was a lot. Girl, what you doing? I'm gonna pour some on the mirror. Not this much because honestly, this is unnecessary. I don't even use that much powder for under my eyes. And I'm gonna go in with my favorite brush of all times for this particular process, which is this one right here. And this one is the Elf Cosmetics Blush Brush, but I don't use it for blush because it has this flat angle that is just perfect for like under the eye setting. And it has this little pointy like, you, 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 guys, you guys see what I mean, you see, you see the shape? It fits perfectly right in there or not. The, okay, okay, just making sure you guys see what I see, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and lightly tap it into the banana powder. And I'm gonna tap off the excess just because like, I ain't trying to banana myself up like that. Like I just wanted some, but I guess, you know, that had to do whatever it wanted to do. And I'm gonna lightly just pat that under my eye. Now I'm not gonna bake. I'm just gonna set that under eye concealer. So just to be clear, put the excess on my chin and wherever else I put some of that concealer but mainly it's just free under the eyes so you see all of this practically went to waste because I did not need to use all of that and I can't put it back in the bottle because this just doesn't make any sense um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my fit me by Maybelline as you heard and I'm gonna just tap this in there just mix it up and I'm gonna go in all over the face. And I'm basically gonna just do this. Like I don't buff it in. I mainly just like tap it into the skin. And I mainly do this because I like that matte finish. Like I said before, I love, love matte makeup because I'm very oily. Let me just clean these foundation lips because that ain't cute. For my eyebrows really quickly, I'm gonna go in with this product right here. That has also become one of my favorites. This one is by e.l.f. Cosmetics. What a surprise. e.l.f. is one of my favorite brands for um, drugstore makeup. This one is the Wow Brow, um, brow, I don't know if it's a brow tint or brow cream or whatever, in the shade medium brown. And I'm just gonna use this to sort of help remove the foundation or powder that might have fallen on top of my brow and then just darken it up a little bit more. Normally I've been doing my brows before I do everything else on my face just because I feel like it has worked better for me, especially when it comes to like finding a shape for my brow. If I do my brows after I'm done doing my face, then I sort of don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why, it's just, it's just weird. All right, now that we're done setting the face, we're gonna move on to contour and bronzing. For contour and bronzing, I'm gonna use a combination of these two right here. Uh, this one by far, you probably have heard me talk about this one on my channel so many different times. This is the Milani Baked Bronzer in 05 Soleil. This is the name. This is what it looks like. This is what the bronzer looks like. And this one is not dark, it's not dark enough for me right now, but it's gonna give me that nice little toasty glow that I'm looking for. This is the other one that I'm gonna be using. This one is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Bronzed Bronzer. And this one is in the shade 02 Medium. Where's my brush, where's my brush? For bronzing, I'm gonna go in with this brush right here. This one is by Morphe. This is the Morphe R14 brush. And I'm gonna go in first with a Milani. And this is not so brown. This is more like, like a coppery, bronzy type of, you know, bronzer. It's not super intense. That's what I like about it, that if you wanna achieve like a subtle, bronze but still look exotic you can achieve that with this bronzer honestly i love using this one all over the face this is what i hate about new brushes that they just get really like messy 
they get real messy with it like I like to put my bronzer here or contour here on this area just to sort of like diminish my little turkey neck that I have my bronziness put some on my nose You can't really see that much. I think it's too bright in here for you guys to notice it, but I see it here in the mirror. I'm gonna go in with this one now, and I'm gonna just go on top of that with it. Just to add a little bit extra bronziness. Subtle, I'm not overdoing it. Here we go. So now I'm gonna move on to the eyes. So. I recently went to Target and I found these eyeshadows by Elf. These are their new bite size at eyeshadows. And these are some little quads. There's four shadows per um, palette or mini palette. There are, if I'm not mistaken, six of these, but I only was able to get my hands on five. And I am dying to try these because I saw Kathleen Light make a video about these and she was raving about them and she was swatching them and the pigmentation was just amazing. And everybody knows that e.l.f. is actually kicking butts here in the beauty industry. And I am super excited when I found these, I was like, oh, I gotta get them all, <laughs> Pokemon. So now I, was, I wasn't able to get the last one. The last one that I noticed that I was missing doesn't really have the most cutest color. So I wasn't like, ah, oh, whatever. Like I was just, it was whatever if I didn't get it. But I'm glad that I got all of these other ones. For today's look, I think I'm gonna keep it more neutral. So I'm gonna go in, let me show you guys really quickly actually, so what they look like. So this is one, and this one is called Berry Bad, the fun. This is the second one, this one's called Pumpkin Pie, which I think is the one that I'm gonna be using for today. There is Cream and Sugar, which is super cute. There is Truffles, and then this is my favorite one, Carnival, uh, Carnival Candy, and it's because of this blue right here. I love wearing shadows like that. But today we're gonna keep it neutral and we're gonna go in with the Pumpkin Pie palette or little quad. And this one is full of nice browns, golds, coppers, right up my alley. This is what it looks like. How cute is this? Like these are so freaking cute and compact. Like if honestly, if you go traveling, you just pop a couple of these in your bag and you have like a, you have so many options. Like it's freaking crazy. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this blending brush right here. This one is by Morphe. Uh, I don't know which Morphe one this is, but this is a Morphe brush. And this one is from the Gun Metal Collection, one of my very first ever brush collection that I ever bought. I'm gonna go in with this brown right here. Um, they don't have the names. These shades don't have names, no way. All right, well, I'm gonna go in with the first one of all the shades, which is this brown. And I'm gonna apply that all over my lid. I don't like to normally use um, an eyeshadow setting, whatever, because I just feel like I don't really need it. When I apply my concealer in the bottom, I drag it a little bit to the top and that normally works for me for setting my eye. So I don't normally have to set my eye with anything else. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in all over my eyelid, bring it up as high as I want to. Honestly, this is so comfy holding these, oh my gosh. How freaking awesome. Yeah, the pigmentation is amazing, honestly. I don't even have to tap into it so much and it's just, the color payoff is amazing. As you guys can see. I'm just gonna put this all over my lid, bring it up a little bit. Like that alone, like it's so cute, I can't. I'm gonna go in with another blending brush. Let me see if I can find the one that I'm looking for. So it's this one right here and I'm gonna go in with the third one in. It's like a dark, like a darker brown, like a grayish brown. And I'm just gonna do that in the outer corner of my eye, like the outer V. And just like try to cause like a smoky effect and I'm gonna bring it in into the crease a little bit, mainly keeping it dark on the outside, and then lightly bringing in um, the excess of it into the crease. 
do you guys see what I'm trying to do there? I'm gonna intensify that just a little bit right on the outside. There we go. Oh my God, I love shadows like this. Honestly, you guys, these I think were five bucks each. I would definitely recommend you guys go to your local um, drugstore and get these, get them all. Literally get them all because they are so freaking good. Like these colors are gliding. They're so easy to blend and they're so affordable. Like if you don't want to be splurging on like really, really expensive eyeshadow palettes, these have like your everyday colors. You have your pinks, your your browns, your grays, your darks, your lights, your nudes. Like, come on. Like, this is like the best. And mind you, there's another one out there that I didn't even get to buy that is also nice. You know what I mean? So if you get all six, you're set. Like, you don't even have to buy any more eyeshadows. For beginners, this is a great, great way to start to like build your makeup and get comfortable with doing makeup and stuff like that because honestly, these are amazing. All right, so I'm done intensifying my eye. I'm gonna actually add a little bit more here just cause I want this to be a little bit darker. And I'm gonna bring it out just a tad bit to give that smoky eye effect, you know, more effect. <laughs> um, all right, and then after we're done blending, I'm gonna go in, hmm. I'm not gonna do this copper. I think I'm gonna do this like dark gold. Oh my God, y'all! Ah, so cute. And I'm gonna use my finger just because I feel like these kind of shades, like shimmer shades apply better with your finger. And I'm gonna just add that into the center of the eye. I'm just gonna pat that on. Look at that. Lightly patting it on and it's just there. Like how insane. How insane is that? Like, oh my gosh. Wow. Like that completely transformed this look. Like, okay. All right. I don't gotta say much. I'm gonna go in with this one that I used previously. I'm gonna go back on the brown and just soften up that darkness and blend these two in a little bit, the dark one and the, and the shimmer one. Just so it doesn't look too separated and too harsh. I'm gonna go ahead and buff some of that dark brown under the eye just to sort of connect the smoky eye effect. I'm gonna go in with this brush right here. This is what it looks like. This is also an e.l.f. cosmetic. This is a smudge brush, so it's perfect for what I wanna do. And again, I'm gonna go in with a dark brown and then just lightly tap it on there and just bust right into the bottom lash or lash line. What is it called, waterline? So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to mascara, being that I'm done with the eyes and for mascara, where did I put it? Okay, this one was the very first mascara that I bought when I first wanted to get into makeup. This one is the Maybelline New York Lash Stiletto Waterproof. This is the only mascara, honestly, from the drugstore that I found that actually volumizes my lashes. And I don't know, it's just my favorite. And I've, oh, even though I use now mainly like high-end mascaras, I always have to have these in my collection just because they are like the ultimate go-to. The ultimate go-to. Like this is honestly my favorite, my favorite um, drugstore mascara. Look at that. Like honestly, I just started applying it and it's just amazing. And this one's almost out, honestly. I have to go and buy a new one. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. I definitely can. I can see it here in the mirror. I don't know if it's catching it up right on the, on the camera. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now that I'm done applying my mascara, I'm gonna let it dry for a quick second 
and I'm gonna go in for my favorite part, which is the inner corner highlight, which you guys, if you guys know me, you know I, I just have to. Now, because there is not, at the moment, a drugstore highlight that I really, really like, I'm gonna go in with one of these eyeshadow palettes, the one that has this nice little gold shimmer. This one is Cream and Sugar. And I'm gonna actually use that shade as a highlight today because it's a highlight color and it's a drugstore and I really like that color. So mama's gonna use it. So let me show you guys what this shade looks like. Uh, are you gonna open or not, fam? There you go. I'm gonna go in, oh, look at that. How beautiful is that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go in with my favorite eye pencil. This one, honestly, is supposed to be a concealer. A concealer, yeah, a concealer brush, but fam, this ain't no concealer brush. Look at this little baby. Like, who are you fooling? This one's also by e.l.f. I have been wanting to get me an, a few more of these just because I love this brush so much. It's not safe for you to only have one of them. That, I, I haven't been able to find it though. I right, So I've, I've been like just saving this one and protecting it with my life because if I lose it, I'll lose my mind with it. So I'm gonna go in and add that inner corner highlight. Just look how that brightens up the eye. Like I feel like every time I add this like inner corner highlight, it just completes my eyes. Like it just says, wake up. It's Saturday morning. You don't have to go to work. Make some coffee, sit in your balcony. I don't know, like, it's just, oh, I love it. I freaking love it. And this shade is like to die for. I'm very sure that it doesn't have names in the back though. All right, so I'm gonna move on to blush. My favorite blush at the time, at the moment, no, and, and I'm not even gonna say just drugstore in general, is gonna be these right here. These are the Burt Bee, the Burt's Bees blushes. Burt's Bees blushes. Burt's Bees blushes. Burt's Bees blushes. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Um, and it's gonna be these right here. These I actually learned about from Kathleen Lights. Most of these make, like even this, I learned from Kathleen Lights. I love watching her videos and she was very right when she suggested these. And I got them in every single shade that they come in. I have them all because they're amazing. Okay. So I'm gonna do a concoction, a little blush cocktail. And I'm gonna use these two today. One of them is pinkier than the other one. This one is the 1209 Fresh Apricot. And this one is the 1210 Shy Pink. So literally this one comes after this one, but I really, really like concocting these two because it gives me like the perfect, just rosy, flushed look that I love for my blush brush. I'm gonna go in with this one right here. This is a Real Techniques uh, buffing brush. And I'm gonna tap into both at the same time. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to my cheeks. And I like to bring my blush up just because if I keep it here, I'm gonna look like a clown and don't nobody wanna be looking like a clown. Ain't nobody clowning up in here. Did you hurt? And I like to add blush to my nose just because I like to look flush. Like how perfect, it's like the perfect blushed look without being exaggerated. Like, give me a wand, I'm fancy. Alrighty, so we're almost at the final steps of this tutorial. I'm gonna move on to do my lips. Now, for lip liner, I don't have any lip liners that I have found out there that I really, really like, but I do love this one. This one is from ColourPop Cosmetics. You can find them at Ulta stores. These are, I think, six bucks. They're super creamy, amazing, amazing quality lip pencils. This one is BFF2, and this is what this shade looks like. And it's honestly one of my favorites. What's wrong, Babash? You okay? I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips and then for lipstick, I'm gonna go in with this one, which is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite lipsticks from the drugstore. And I have a few shades of these. These are from also Maybelline Superstate, the Superstate line. And this one is the Superstate Matte Ink. 
Now, this is the most long wearing matte liquid lipstick I have ever tried in my life. And I am not exaggerating. I have a wide collection of matte liquid lipsticks. I have so many different brands and I barely even touch them anymore since I discovered these. The only thing that I would wish is that they would have a more extended color collection or shade collection because they don't really have that many, at least not for my complexion. But these are the most amazing, I'm telling you to the point where I have eaten fried food, oily, greasy food, and you know grease breaks the, like, it breaks makeup, and this thing is still holding on to dear life. Like, I cannot even believe it. Like, it's just, it's just, it's amazing. So if you guys have not tried these, this is what they look like. You guys need to go to your drugstore and get you some of these because it, it's just amazing. And they last so long because you don't have to retouch. I never have to reapply these. When I put it on the first time, it literally lasts the whole freaking day. Through eating, through breakfast, through lunch, through coffee, through whatever it lasts. So take my word for it, please, and go try these because they are amazing. This one is in the shade 70 Amazonian. That's what it looks like. And it's like a nice little mauve nudie-ish tan. Like, it's just a weird color, but I really, really like it. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips and shut up while I do it. Now, I don't always line my lips. I have become very, very good at applying liquid lipstick without having to use a liner. But because I really fell in love with this liner, I wanted to use it for this video. I'm gonna go in with my lipstick. They smell super sweet though. I will tell you, if you guys are sensitive to like strong scents or fragrances, this one smells very, very sweet and it hits your stomach. Like it, it smells very, very sweet. It's not a bad scent, it's just very strong. So for you guys who don't like fragrances, this might not be for you, but if you can, you know, just, just toughen it out just for the cause, then go ahead and just try it. All right, so to finalize this look, I'm gonna go in with some highlighter and then setting spray. And because like I said before, I don't have a highlighter that I really like right now from the drugstore. I'm gonna go in with this palette and I'm gonna go in with my highlighter brush. This is from Morphe and Jeffree Star. This is a JS4 highlighter brush. And I'm gonna lat lightly tap into these two colors. It's like a bronze and then the white, like diamond looking like shimmer shade. I'm gonna tap the access and I'm gonna go ahead and highlight. Ooh! Y'all seen this? Like, fam. Oh. Okay, she wet. She wet, wet. Oh my God. Who needs a highlighter when you got these freaking shadows? Like, do you guys see this glow? I'm shooketh. Oh, heck yes. Heck yes. All right, girlfriend. So for setting spray, I don't have one from the drugstore right now, but this one is sort of drugstore because you can find this at Target. This is from Pixie. And this one I actually received in a Boxy Charm when I used to receive Boxy Charm. And it's a very light mist. It's called a glow mist and it has argan oil and Propolis, propolis, I don't know. Now this one has oils. This one is more for like a dewy finish, which I'm not really fond of, but because this is supposed to be an all drugstore, you know, product video, I'm gonna go ahead and use it and then just see how, you know, how my face looks like it's, you know, when it's dewy. I've never really brought a dewy look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shake that well because it has some oils in it and spritz that out. I 
all right you guys so this is the completed look for today let me know what you guys think about this look let me know what you guys think about the products that i've used today i'm, I'm gonna try to link all the products down below so if you guys want to purchase them i will let you know where i bought these items and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and also hit that post notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever i upload new videos thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one bye